Today, that the problem we have had in this part of our country for many years of people killing other people and taking their livestock, that culture must come to an end immediately. Nimeongea siku ile nikiwa kule Nairobi. Leo nimekuja hapa Samburu. Wale watu wote katika hii county ya Samburu, Marsabit, Turkana, West Pokot, Elgeyo Marakwet, Baringo, Laikipia, Isiolo, wale watu ambao kazi yao miaka nenda miaka rudi ni kuiba ngombe za wengine na kuua wananchi niko hapa leo kuwaambia mkome mara moja the practice of stealing other people's livestock must come to an end na ninajua tumeongea siku nyingi mambo hii ya usalama na mmezoea serikali Nataka niwaambie ya kwamba anybody who thinks is strong enough to challenge the government of Kenya should try stealing people's livestock from today as i speak ninajua kuna ngombe imeibiwa ngombe 900 pale Baragoi na zingine pale mpaka wa Laisamis na hiyo sehemu ya Samburu North. Hiyo ngombe imeibiwa. We are tracking where that herd of cattle is at the moment and beginning this evening we are deploying all the available government resources. Human resources, financial resources, all manner of resources and all manner of weapons to ensure that we recover that part of life. Taka kuwaomba viongozi wa hapa Samburu. Governor na waheshimiwa, MPs na MCAs. Na waomba muongee na wazee na morani wetu na wananchi wote wasichukue sheria mikononi mwao. Watupe muda kidogo tupambane na wezi, wakora na wauaji. Nataka nirudie. Wale ambao wamechukua ngombe pale Baragoi na pale ya Laisamis. Tunajua mahali mpo na tunakuja kuchukua hiyo ngombe. Tutatumia nguvu yote ya kiserikali. Tutatumia silaha yote ya serikali mpaka tuhakikishe au ngombe wamerudi. Atu I want to dare all the cattle rustlers and the bandits to strike any of our people from today. Aiwezekani serikali ya Kenya ishindwe nguvu na wezi. Aiwezekani serikali ya Kenya ishindwe nguvu na majambazi. Vile tumepigana na magaidi na tukafaulu hata hao wawezi wa ngombe tutapigana nao na tutafaulu. Nataka nirudie. Cattle rustling and banditry is equivalent to terrorism. Hakuna tofauti ya wale magaidi ambayo wametupiga katika siku zilizopita, hakuna tofauti ya magaidi wa Al-Shabab na wale watu wanaoua watu wa Kasamburu tutaongeza camps ya anti stock step unit tutaweka askari wetu ya vikosi ya rapid rapid response eh, RDU tutaweka ASU tutaweka GSU 
tutaweka wengine ambao watakuja na tutatumia mbinu zote tutatumia mbinu zote tutatumia silaha yote ambayo iko Kenya hii mpaka usalama upatikane naomba tu munisaidie hii kazi ni kazi ngumu mheshimiwa rais ameniambia nizitoke sehemu hii ya Northrend na Northern Kenya mpaka magaidi wote watoke katika nchi yetu nafasi hii kuwapongeza sana sana chiefs wote wetu na security officers nataka mjue hivi serikali itasimama na nyinyi the government of kenya as the president declared and announced that day that he met the regional and county police commanders that the government will stand behind every security officer who uses their firearm to protect their fellow citizens from criminals from thugs and from bandits serikali ilazima isimame nyuma na itetee afisa wote wa kiusalama ambaye atatumia silaha yake ili kulinda maisha na mali ya mwananchi wenzake na wale watu ambao wanatupatia taarifa ndefu kuhusu matumizi ya silaha mimi nikiwa waziri wa usalama mimi naelewa mambo ya sheria na vile sheria inasema kuhusu mambo ya maofisa wa usalama kutumia eh, silaha the weapon that our security officers are having the weapons that we are going to issue to NPR the weapons that we are going to issue to our chiefs are not for ornamental purposes those weapons are to defend the lives and property of the people of the republic of kenya hiyo silaha ukiona mwananchi ako kwa hatari ukiona maisha yako wewe mwenyewe yako kwa hatari ukiona mali ya mwananchi imepotea na mwenye yako na hiyo mali ako na silaha tumia ile silaha uko nayo ukiwa ofisa wa usalama kuangamiza ule mtu ambaye ako na silaha haramu na anatumia hiyo silaha haramu kuumiza wananchi wakati mheshimiwa rais alikuwa hapa alitangaza ya kwamba tuanzishe program ya hapa na eh, eh, hapa Samburu na NPR 360 360 na mimi nimefika hapa leo na kulingana na vile nimeelezwa hali ya hapa vile ilivyo na vile hii sehemu ni kubwa nataka niongeze hiyo idadi na tutaendelea na hiyo program ili tu vet maofisa wengine mia mbili iwe iwe kwa na maofisa mia tano na sitini wa kulinda usalama wa wengine vile vile vikosi vyote vya usalama vile tutatuma hapa tutatumia njia zote kuhakikisha wameshirikiana na hao hai NPRs na machips ili tuhakikishe sehemu hii imekuwa salama tutaongeza camps ya anti stock step step unit